hen. Hen, 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 hen. <laughs> what is happening, Magnesites? Just got back from seeing Godzilla minus one. Now, for those of you that do not know, Godzilla minus one, it appears to be a throwback to like the original Godzilla movie. And he is a raging monster in this. He's not good. He's not bad. He is just a force of nature created through atomic bombage. Okay. So this story follows a kamikaze pilot who came home. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so uh, he didn't do the job and he lands on this island with some of his brethren and this is when Godzilla makes his first appearance and he's not like what you think. I was like, Wait, wait a minute, shouldn't he? Yeah, so this is non-spoiler, so uh, then something happens, and then he definitely is who he is known to be. Now, during the movie, he encounters a woman and a child, and the movie from there on focuses on his relationship with the woman and the child, and the fact that, you know, he's a former pilot. And this happens after all the devastation of Japan in World War II. So, I'm just going to tell you, the best parts, of course, are when Godzilla shows his face. He gets to land, uh, when he's in the water, when he's... Breathing the breath of <laughs> the fire. I think they do. I think someone in the movie calls it a heat beam or laser beam. I can't remember what they call it. Uh, you will find out that Godzilla apparently uh, is an X Man, has the power of a very popular X Man. I never knew this. I haven't seen all the Godzilla movies. All the ones I saw when I was I, I was a kid, I don't remember all that. I just remember him tromping and stomping around and throwing and you know as a kid. So I don't remember. So it, I was like, w w wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute, because there's a particular part where they're fighting back and something happens, and I was like, oh, there must be a nut. Oh, wait, what? When could he do that? <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. Uh, and I mean to that level, too, of this superhero. Because this superhero has been known to be able to do this at certain levels. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Which is something you see at the end of the movie. Also, someone in the movie supposedly dies and you find out that they don't. And when you see them later, there is something on them. Which is like, what? Like, two things... At the end of the movie, set it up for a sequel. And I'm like, wait, is this, is this an infection? It, what is going on here? So, the movie overall, the special effects were pretty damn good for what it was. The weird thing is when he walked, he had a very emotionless, walk. He walks in those last few movies released, you know, in America, the WB movies, 
Mwah. Everything about it, as far as his animation. Because this was a throwback, I was wondering, is that why he's so stiff? Uh, almost toy-like or early CGI-like? But there's other parts where the way they make... It's like it's crazy. Uh, the rest of the movie, though, I gotta say, the majority of the time... The downtime, and you expect that with movies like this. The downtime did get boring. You know, Scarlo passed out. <laughs> uh, even I was passing out a little bit because I actually, uh, I, I did a whole lot today. And I was like tired when we got there. And I don't fall asleep in movies like this. So, but even I was like, you know, during the slow parts, I was like, you know. But any time I was intrigued, I stayed up, and that's how I knew it was kind of, you know. Um, so the slow parts are slow, and they're interesting some parts, but it just... Uh. So what I'm going to give this movie, I will give this movie a three out of five woos! Because as a Godzilla fan, I that's all I need to see. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've told you, listen... I go to a Transformers movie, all I need to see is Optimus Prime kicking ass and playing their robots transforming and fighting. And as long as you can make it interesting, you got me. You got what I'm saying? So this, I think there's going to be sequel. I definitely will go see the sequel. Uh, it was subtitled. If it does come out, I'm buying it dubbed. <laughs> if it does come out, I'm buying it dubbed. Or maybe one that has both. Uh, I just prefer that. Uh, when I'm watching subtitles, I get tired of looking at the bottom of the screen. Down and up, down and up, down. So every once in a while, you miss something minute that happens. I can't stand that. Unless you literally watch international films all the time or anime all the time subtitled. And you're used to it. You know, some of y'all speed read like that. And, you, you know I mean, you don't miss nothing but me. I miss some stuff sometimes. So I can't stand that. So just know that. Uh, I don't see it having any other days of release out here in America. So I, I guess today was the only day. I'm a happy Godzilla fan. And I want more of this. And I want them to up the ante with his animation a little bit in the next one. And I, there's definitely, put it this way. If they don't make one, it's on them. But the story says there's going to be another one. You got what I'm saying? Shoot. Very interesting. All right. I will see you all later.